To activate all of Windows features, head on over to whokeys.com. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for as little as $13.12. That is a fraction of retail price. Use offer code IFR25 for 30% off. Copy your key from the user center and paste it here to activate. Alternatively, by clicking here, you can follow their step-by-step -step guide. You can now enjoy all of Windows features. G'day guys, welcome back to another BTS. And today, unfortunately, we're gonna be taking apart the dual system desk PC. It's gonna be quite hard to drain because it's a flat loo. All the tubes are parallel. The only way we have to drain it is to pretty much suck out as much liquid as we can to try and get one of these tubes loose and then we'll probably blow through the tube to try and get the liquid out into a bottle or something like that. But uh, these are two high-end systems. This is pretty much the most expensive PC we've ever built. It's crazy. Lots of RGB. Uh, we've got a 3080 Ti Strix with the active backplate, so it's called at the back and the front and that's on the ASUS Glacial motherboard with an 11900K. And then we have two RTX 3090s. Uh, these are ASUS EKWB um, GPUs. This is the Aorus Extreme Water Force motherboard. So again, another expensive motherboard for this system. And we pretty much just put the most expensive stuff we had in here reuse that from previous builds to you know just create one awesome looking desk pc another desk pc coming up very soon so i need to remove all of this stuff so we can rebuild so with that being said uh i'll leave you guys with it there i'm gonna get go ahead get all of this removed and clean it all out it's gonna take me a while Thanks for your support guys, we appreciate it. Over on Patreon, YouTube channel memberships, you can find those links in the video description if you wanna support us so we can you know, keep doing things like this. It helps to pay for acrylic paint and things like that. So we greatly appreciate it. Amelia, one one last thing. Uh, what do you think about this desk PC before we go? I love it, I'm so <laughs> sad to see it go. It's unfortunate. But, uh, hey, maybe this could be your new PC. Hey, that sounds good, <laughs> sounds good. Anyway, guys, thanks for your support. We'll see you guys later. This is the next PC we're taking apart. This is the Be Quiet Dark Base 700 case. It's one of the newer ones that we did a build in a couple of weeks ago now, right? Yes. How do you think it turned out? I think it's very cool. The tubes are crazy. So the reason for that is the, um, the Corsair XD7. We wanted to mount it at the front, but there wasn't enough room at the front where the radiator is sitting. So now it's up the top, so now we've got crazy tube routes going everywhere just to make this thing work because we had to mount it up the top there. But um, yeah, that's the Corsair XD7. It's basically a distro plate that takes up three fan slots. And yeah, so that's basically why we've got tubing going everywhere. What do you think of the yellow liquid? I know yellow's yeah. your favorite color. Yellow is my favorite color, so yep. I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, if you're looking close at the RAM, there's one LED light that's staying green. Can, oh, you yeah. see, can you see the green on it? <laughs> there it is. Uh, That's a bit random. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I only just noticed that now. I wonder if that was in the video or not. <laughs> I don't know. The pans and stuff. Uh, we've got the Leon Lee SL120 fans in there. They've actually got their new AL120 fans out as well. And we've also got an RTX 3080. I believe it's the Asus Strix card. And we've also got a, an i9-11900K. Intel now have their new 12th gen CPUs out. So we're gonna be taking this apart and then building with their new 12th gen CPUs. Finally, about time, right? Very exciting. <laughs> yeah, so we can't wait. We've also got some huge news in store. Don't wanna tell you guys yet, but um, Millie and I are very excited. And yeah, we just we just can't wait to, you know, share it with everyone and, um, start the process of whatever it is Ooh. so we'll keep you guys uh <laughs> keep you guys guessing for a bit yeah uh, apart from that let's get this thing taken apart and that's that's pretty much it right that's it <laughs> thanks guys and appreciate your support our third build of the day which we're not actually taking apart we're actually boxing this one up and sending that to asus because they're going to be giving it away so 
the idea behind this build was they wanted a full Asus theme, but they wanted some Crisis Remastered uh, incorporated into it. So we made the etched panel at the front there. This is a super high-end system. It's got an 11900K CPU and a 3080 Ti GPU. Uh, fully Asus, Neo uh, Trident Z RGB memory, and lots of ROG custom panels that we made. Amelia, thoughts on this one? I love the panels. Considering it's not a ward cool build, how yeah, do you think it's over Yeah, it looks so good. I love the look of it. These are the best panels you've done in a long time. It just all matches. Yeah. It's just perfect. I think the fans are looking a little pink at the moment, but that's because we haven't booted it up properly. Yeah. <laughs> They're actually meant to be red. <laughs> And it's not meant to be RGB at the moment either, it's meant to be red, but we'll get that fixed up before we box it up and I think that's pretty much it, right? It's Wait, so cool. What I do you remember, think of this case though? Do you like the case? I remember when I first came in and looked at this PC, I didn't even notice it wasn't water-cooled because I was busy looking at all the panels. Yeah, you were saying Thinking how that. cool yeah. it looked. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I love yeah. the case. I love that it's got handles on the top, very handy. Ah, uh, good one. I didn't even mean that. <laughs> I didn't even mean that. No, it's cool. It's huge though. It is a big case, yeah. It's very heavy as well. Yeah, I'm not going to try and lift that. Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, we appreciate your support. Hopefully, you guys will have a chance of winning this when Asus decide to do whatever it is that they want to do with it. Yeah, we appreciate your support and we'll see you next time. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another BTS video. And this is our Liam Lee O11 Dynamic Mini uh, PC build. It actually has a 360 radiator in there. We slightly modified the case in order to actually fit the 360 in there because traditionally it doesn't actually fit due to the clearance of the RAM sticking out too far. So uh, we made it work in the end. And this is actually a limited edition one from EK, the, uh, the gold color there. So normally all of the fans, the Lee fans, they're set to gold as well, but we just quickly turned this on to show you guys, uh, you know, what the PC build looks like for the BTS. Normally they'd be set to gold as well, so I'm, I mean, I'm sure you guys saw the PC build over on our YouTube channel anyway. Thoughts, Amelia? What, what do you think about this build? It looks very clean. I yes. like it. I like the case, actually. I know it's a bit smaller, but I do like it. So for the case, the Liam Lee O11, everyone has this case now. Yeah, and well, I have it. Everyone <laughs> does the exact same water cooling layout, and it's, I don't know, it's it's overdone now, so personally, I'd like to do something a little bit different. Um, we have a Liam Lee O11 XL build, that's the exact same case that you have, mm -hmm. coming up very soon. Like, it's actually this week, that's what we're going to be working on, so I want to try and do something different with the water cooling loop, because everyone does the same thing, and it it's just, I don't know, I'm just sick of saying the same thing, you know, so. That's pretty much uh, this build. I, I can't even remember what the specs were. I'm pretty sure it was an 11900K. Uh, oh, the 3080Ti. The Ooh. Phantom Gaming, yeah. 3080Ti, this is a Gamewood card. Um, so that looks really nice, a nice sort of stealth black look. And then we've got the sort of gold accents with the lighting. I love the gold, it. looks expensive. Yeah, gold and black. Are, uh, we haven't done a gold and black one for a long time, so that's what we wanted to do with this one. Yeah, overall, and what about G School Ram? You love the Oh, my G -School favorite. Ram, don't you? Yes, <laughs> look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. So overall, I think it turned out pretty clean, um, but it's time to pull it apart. So unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. This build will be pulled apart today because I'm not going to make use of these fans in another build. So anyway, guys, we appreciate your support uh, and uh, thank you a lot. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do things like this. So thank you guys and uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this build.